Okay, so this is 64-bit Raspbian, uh, which has just been released. This is the beta version, uh, and I've installed it to an SSD drive. Uh, in my previous video, I was trying to do it with uh, Raspberry Pi Imager, uh, and it wasn't working, but I had already unzipped the file. You don't need to unzip the file. Uh, you can just write it straight to your uh, SSD drive or USB stick or SD card, whichever method you want to do. Uh, if you do want to run it with a USB boot, then you need to copy over the 14 files as seen in this video. And basically you're copying those 14 files into the boot folder. And then when you start with your SSD connected, you will come up with a screen like this. So uh, you can see that this Welcome to Raspberry Pi is slightly different. Um, there's a few, few, few different in the writing and also in the image that's there. Uh, so it says it needs to be restarted, so I'm going to restart it now. It did the updates, but it took seconds to do the updates because obviously it is a very new image. So hit restart. So let's see how quick it boots up. I've just switched it on now. And uh, it comes up with the screen. Interestingly, when that screen comes up, if you press the escape, it will show you... Oh, well, that's... Crikey, that's super quick. If you get that Raspberry Pi screen, you can press escape and it will show you all the workings in the background. Okay, so let's have a look around and see what looks like it's changed. So let's hit start. Um, so programming looks the same, internet, chromium browser. VLC is in there, that's the same. Image viewer is the same. Uh, they've added Raspberry Pi diagnostics, which is good. Uh, I'm pretty sure the task manager and everything was on there. Although that, does that look different? I'm not sure if that looks slightly different. Um, but the diagnostics is for testing the speed of your uh, whatever you're running Raspbian from. And uh, I find it a very useful tool. I've done lots of tests with that. Uh, so help, yeah, this, I can't remember if this is new. I think this is new. So if you click on Bookshelf, all the magazines are available here to download. And this is great. There's so much good content in there. Um, so that, that's really interesting. Then we've got books here as well. So there's various different things about learning coding and things like that as well. Raspberry Pi Annual 2018. Crikey, I could lose hours in all those. Right, so Hackspace. Also there as well, you can see it's loading up. Wireframe, if it wasn't there before, that's a really good addition. Uh, it feels all right, if it doesn't feel like there's any issues at the moment, obviously it's a very early build. Um, so you've got, to, you've got to accept that things might not work as they are. So if this is your daily driver, you might not wanna uh, mess about too much. I think that main menu editor is the same. I probably don't use this enough because I use so many different operating systems. I really like Raspbian, Raspbian is super fast. Uh, and is a really good operating system. So having it at 64-bit now is brilliant. Uh, so, and obviously as time goes on, it will just keep getting better and better, uh, onwards and upwards. Yeah, all of this looks the same. Uh, I wonder if there's any different, uh, so just have a quick look at screen configuration. Now that looks the same. If I was to go for desktop preferences, have they given us some new desktop backgrounds? I don't think they have. User share. RPD wallpaper, RPD wallpaper. So that's where all the wallpapers are. Is there a way of uh, seeing that? No. So if I click on it, can I then, oh yeah. So if I wanted to have a look through the wallpaper, see if there's anything that looks like it wasn't there before. So I think all of these were there. Oh, I don't know about that one. That's a nice one. That might be a new one. Can't remember that one either. There's some lovely, lovely images. Yeah, that looks nice as well. That's lovely as well. I've used that one before in some of my videos. That one's, uh, that one was there before. Not sure about that one. And obviously this is the one that we're all used to. Seeing a lot as it's the default install. So if I was gonna change to something, I guess I really like that one. So what's that one called? That one's called Fjord. So let's go back and Fjord. Hit OK. Yeah, so watch this space. Uh, obviously I'll keep track of what updates come along and, and what improves. At the moment with Chromium, uh, it's not gonna be great because there is, is it no hardware support? So no, no hardware video acceleration in VLC and Chromium. Obviously they'll work on that. 
uh, and there's various things that have been changed but I'll, I'll put a link to the forum to show you what's changed on that but let's just do a very quick uh, have a look at say hot UK deals which is what I often do so the browser's working all right is working working fine as you would expect it's a very snappy operating system Raspbian a lot of love for Raspbian I still think it looks a bit dated I would I would maybe change it a little bit uh, in the looks department but then there's loads of customization you can do with Linux so uh, but it does its job and the thing is if you change things then some people don't like the fact that all of a sudden something's different so I, I get why they maybe haven't changed it uh, from a looks point of view but uh, oh let's just go back in that and I was going to quickly try YouTube so if we try YouTube And I haven't overclocked this or done anything else yet. So this is running stock, although it is running from an SSD through a USB uh, adapter. So let's go for the PSP video. And I always overclock, so I, I just haven't done it yet. Uh, PS3. See if we can get something with a bit of movement in it. This video I did a year ago, is it? It feels like longer than that. March 4, yeah, just over a year. Well, not much over a year, though. So, let's go for... What's it on at the moment? It's on... It's on 1080. So, let's put that full screen, and already you can see it's struggling. So, we need that acceleration, but again, it's a beta. So, uh, when it's finally released, I'm sure they'll get that all sorted out. I'm not seeing any tearing, which is interesting. But there's not a lot of movement to be able to show the tearing. <laughs> Yeah, it's, so it's, it's stopping. I wonder if I just drop that resolution a little bit and what's going on? Pressing escape. I can't even get back out of this. So I'm pressing escape. Ah, whoa. So let's just, yeah, it is a bit because it hasn't got that acceleration, it is a bit laggy on that. Again, this is a beta, so it can, and where's my mouse gone? I can't, I'm up here, but I can't seem to, oh, now, oh, oh. yeah, there's definitely a delay there. Okay, so I'll keep testing, but uh, this is great to know that it's uh, it's moving onwards and upwards. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.